I've already shown you new gasifiers with several two-year belts, which reduce the amount of tar in the generator gas almost 50 times compared to reversed gasifiers like the Invert type. I demonstrated the theoretical part and showed the gazelle on which we assembled such a gasifier. After testing for 1,000 kilometers, such a gasifier, assembled according to our sketches, performed very well. It operated not only on wood but also on a mixture with plastic waste even better. The car pulled the load, according to the owner's feelings, as if on methane. Continuing this topic, while reviewing fresh scientific papers on gasification, I couldn't miss this work. It's a fresh work from May 5, 2023, authored by an Indonesian scientist, addressing the problem of disposal of waste from tobacco leaf stems in his country. In 2018, Indonesia produced 156,000 tons of tobacco. 26% of this figure is waste, the very stems of tobacco leaves. There was an accumulation of 43,000 tons in 2018. Part of the waste is disposed of, but a large part is discarded. On the screen, you can see the moisture and chemical composition of the fuel he used. He assembled a gasifier from a small piece of 150 pipe with several two-year belts. In his work, he directly states the same thing that I said earlier, that the amount of tar decreases. He assembled a 2 kilowatts total power gasifier, which consumed 5.23 kilograms of fuel per hour. Anyone interested in the parameters of this reactor and a description of how to assemble it can write to me on WhatsApp. The gasifier began to emit combustible gas already on the seventh minute of operation. Let's consider this gasifier. Number one is a great mixer for mixing biomass in the gasifier. Number four is the gas outlet. Number five is the middle part of the gasifier, above and below which the two year belts are located. This can be seen in the photo. The most surprising thing is number 9, air supply. Usually in gasifiers of this type with two two-year belts, air is supplied to two two-year belts, and sometimes, to achieve even greater tar cracking, they blow air into another two-year belt or two-year located above the grate to minimize the amount of tar. I have seen such rare works. Here the scientist decided to do the same. You see, under number 9 in the lower part air is also supplied. It turns out, here three two-year belts are implemented. And that's not all. Into the lower belt he supplied air at a height of 60 mm above the made throat with a diameter of 42 mm. It turns out that under the gasifier with two two-year belts, he also installed an invert gasifier with a throat at the bottom. The gas was supplied to such a diesel generator with a power of 5.5 kW and a compression ratio of 18. All he managed to get, judging by the work, is 2 kilowatts of electricity from this engine. Most likely, the reason for this is high ash content, about 14%, and, as a consequence, low carbon content in the leaves, only 36% against 50% in regular wood. Therefore, for 1 kilowatt of electricity, 2.6 kilograms of such fuel burned, not 1.2 kilograms, as in wood. In my opinion, the whole secret of such a unit's operation lies in the mixer which had to continuously mix the entire layer of fuel, including above the grate. Join the group on Telegram, the link to which you can find under the video, and discuss the theory and practice of gasification with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel as a sponsor, support the author. I continue to look for something interesting for you. See you soon!